I think that we'd like everyone to see that we truly are inspired by what we see and what we do. And, you know, it, it, it's not worth doing it if it's not inspiring. My name's Laura Hickman. We were going to do this from the water. So we realized we had to be on the water and um, not on the land. Towards the end of October, went on this boat trip down the, uh, the canal from Rehoboth to Lewis. And I was truly inspired because it was a, you know, once you, once you pass uh, Henlopen Acres and North Shores, you're sort of in a canal that's low lying. And then all of a sudden you just see this huge dome of the sky. And the clouds that day were just amazing. So I was just totally inspired by it. And my subject's always light, and this is still light, a subject dealing with light, but mine are mostly architectural landscapes, and so there's straight lines, and there's distinct shadows, and all of a sudden you're dealing with these nebulous clouds that have no edges, and, and just, um, you know, the shadows that are, that are gradual, and um, I found that to be very, uh, very difficult to work with in a way because I, I don't usually deal with that sort of thing. I'm Steve Rogers and uh, pretty much a marine artist and so that just kind of means I'm always going to be painting things in on or near the water. I pretty much used the same approach but I tried to make sure that uh, the scenes that I was doing were from the water. I very fortunately live in Lewis and I have a neighbor with a boat. And so that made my life a lot easier and we were able to go out on several trips into the bay and be out there and see pilots coming and going and, and see the lighthouses from different directions. Uh, they are, to me, just inspiring to paint. We made a trip together to Tangier Island in October and we had done another trip to Tangier back in 2012. So uh, it was a place we wanted to go because we thought there'll be some really great subjects here. And um, there weren't. It was, uh, to me, it was disappointing because we had just seen uh, from the 2012 trip the differences and how many fewer people that were there and um, the, a lot of the scenes that we had gone and seen simply didn't exist anymore. We have done shows in the past where we've actually picked certain places, certain buildings, certain boats, certain, you know, uh, scenes, and we've both done the exact same one in our own way. And this one was more free um, in terms of what we chose to work with, but still trying to stay within the, you know, the, the title of, of From the Water. A lot of the places that you see in our city are places that really mean something to us. I mean, we saw them and, you know, there's lots of places, and, but we saw these places and we love them. And it inspired us to, you know, um, put them on canvas and, and show them to people. And you, you hope you have, they have the same reaction to it that we did. Um, and then the other thing, I get from this is how lucky we are to live here. This is such a spectacular place to live and these scenes, they're everywhere and, and there's history with all of it and um, I just I mean, kiss the ground that I live here and, and hopefully that comes through in my paintings as well. We'll do it again but maybe next one will be something about the Italian countryside or what a great idea yeah. or the Welsh countryside oh yeah I'd like to go there yeah, yeah. Yeah.